Hey, what's going on guys? My name is George and this is SAS Master. Today we're going to check out Drag and Dropper, which I think is one of the most flexible website builders out there. So Drag and Dropper integrates in a whole bunch of ways that I'm going to try to show you in just like the fastest way I can. So first off, you got the whole bunch of integrations that's available in Drag and Dropper. So you got WordPress, Magento, Shopify, Lightspeed, browser extension. Yeah browser extension for Chrome. So I already have browser extension right here. And obviously HTML that you can use anywhere. You can also integrate it in CMS, which we're gonna do a test a little bit later. But I mean, it's just so flexible that I haven't seen this before in other website builders. So I think drag and drop is on top of the game right now. So if you guys wanna grab the deal, the link is gonna be in the description. So let's head on over to the tool right now. This, this is Drag and Dropper's main dashboard, and this is where you can create a whole bunch of sites that you want. So first thing, if you have connected WordPress, you would have a little logo right here. If it were Shopify, then Shopify or Magento. But one of the cool things that, for example, if we connect to those type of sites, we can update right from, from Drag and Dropper. So there's a plugin that you install over there, and it just works wonderfully one and the other. But if not, you got the option to just create a brand new page and let's just create a brand new project for this. And this is gonna be SAS Master. All right, let's do this. I wanna show you how easy this is. So you got the SAS Master right here, right? Let's open SAS Master. Let's add a brand new page. You're gonna see how easy this is and how fast and just wait for this to load. But this is gonna be, we can actually do this from the widgets on your left, we can create a brand new site, we can add content blocks, or we can add templates. Maybe we're not that sassy or like really good at making websites, so I suggest using templates because it already is like pre-built to work like, I don't know, one with the other. So you have all these templates already available. Let's wait for it to load. So you got more and more, it just loads. And just try to find something that you like. So for example, you know what, I'm gonna grab this one right here and it's gonna load. Check how easy that is. All right, so once we've loaded a template, it's just time to start customizing so we can edit all this. So we just hover over it and we can change the image URL with title, uh, image alt tags. Now, if you are doing, like if you wanna do a good job on C CEO, please put some alt tags, trust me. And you can use links, hotspots, spacing, styling, response. There's so many things you can do with this even if you hover over like this one, we can edit right from here. So let's just say, hey, you know what? Let's put SAS Master right here. This is gonna be the title. All right, SAS Master, type that right there. All right, so that's right there. Check how nice this looks. All of this can be edited, all of it, all of it. Even the form we can add, we, like I said, you just hover over, or for example, you don't like the spacing on this, you can move it around. See how easy that is? It's flexible. Now let's just say, hey, you know what? I wanna add a section. Well, there's widgets on the left. So you got sections, spacers, headline, rich text, HTML. You can even do HTML here. And you got all this, all this like stuff that you can add. Well, once you have built your website, everything just smooth from there. So once you take time and do your website, you can grab the code, check this out. So there's, you can actually grab the HTML code and use it on your site. So this is the first test we're gonna do. So let's just copy this to a clipboard, head on over to pages. This is my WordPress site. It could be an HTML5 site. I mean, it could be any type of site. Just follow me. There's gonna be add new page. And let's use the default builder. Right now, let's add an HTML block. Now, you can either use the plugin that's available from drag and dropper, or you can do it like this. It's just however you want. Head to documents, no, no sidebar, no sidebar, default template, it's black page, and let's just preview this. Wait for that to load. So for example, you don't even have to have a, a, a theme to actually like do the, a really nice website. So here's the website you can see, SAS Master, same images, see that right there? Now, my WordPress is not doing like full width, but you can do that, no problem. But did you see how easy that was? And it just loads there. Now that's one option. What about CMS? All right, before we do that, let's go over to a CMS site and go to Access. For example, this is a CMS, Envanto. 
and membership site let's create a manage site let's go to content create an ad page and what I'm trying to show you this what I'm trying to show you is how flexible this is in a really short amount of time all right let's save this page and let's head on over to content now remember we installed the Chrome plugin yep so this Chrome plugin gives you the option to embed in these type of sections so if I click right here it's gonna open my drag and dropper I'm gonna go to my SAS master site that I created there's my site so there's a new page let's grab this page all right now this is gonna be super awesome like I said you can either modify it from here so let's just say hey you know what this was page two so let's put page two edit there but if you're ready to go if you like what you already made so once we save you're gonna see how easy this is and how it's gonna integrate so quickly with the CMS we are working on right now let's wait for it to save it because it's gonna actually integrate inside without having to do anything else so it's a pretty cool option that we have from drag and dropper to actually have this type of tool and make it work there so there you go did you see that it just launched right here we have the site working right from a CMS using the Chrome extension how easy was that man so those are the, the type of options that we have so we also have the option to publish this okay so we've seen WordPress we've seen CMS we've seen it HTML so let's actually see what we can do if we publish so when we publish we have plenty of options right here now be aware you don't have the option right here to like WordPress Magento light page but if we had it integrated we would show right here so if this page was already integrated with WordPress you would see the logo right here of WordPress so these are the options we have uh, button pop-up auto pop-up exit intent pop-up why because we can create pop-ups also we have Facebook you can embed in a tab we got iframe and domain so now let's check out domain in my case, I already created a subdomain from one of my domains. So my domain is sasm.co. You guys want to head on over there? That's my website. But I created a subdomain. I created site.sasm.co. So now I'm going to create a page path for this. And I'm going to say this is SAS master. And file type, it's going to be index. I'm going to publish. Now all I had to do to have my domain there is I had to point my DNS to drag and dropper just wait a bit for it to integrate to be active and you can use it just like we're gonna show you right here so let's get the shareable link oh sorry no shareable link is a default link from drag and dropper I'll show that in a bit so it's site.sasm let's type that in site.sasm.co slash and it's sas master click enter now remember we are pointing this from my hosting DNS I am NOT actually hosting over there this is hosting on drag and dropper and I just connected it to it right now there you go there's SAS master there's a site look how beautiful that looks how easy is that and cool now the other option that you have let's just say hey you know what oh, over here just say you know what I don't have uh, a domain I don't want to get to that point you can get a shareable link just in case you need something like this really quick open a brand new tab paste that right here and there you go you have this site it doesn't look Disney because I haven't you haven't customized it but did you see how easy that was without even having a hosting plan so let's go back to our drag and dropper just want to show that really quick all right those are the options that you have so how easy is it to use and how flexible is drag and dropper is it awesome or not can you build a site in less than five minutes yes you can I probably took like about less than 15 minutes or 10 minutes to explain this I'm not sure I have to check but it was super easy just to explain everything and have and show you like I showed you in WordPress I showed you in a CMS I showed you connecting your custom domain in this time and I even did like a quick presentation so I'm just showing you how easy this is to build and publish and get right on the web super fast but all right, guys, like I said before, if you guys want to grab this deal, the link is going to be in the description. My name is George, and this is SAS Master, and I'll see you guys later.